So I'm back with more of my Hampton Bay Avondale cabinet work. And I had some tenants move into this place. I need to, this is just nothing to do with the Avondale cabinets, but I need to box in the you know braces that I put in there. It you know, probably would have been smarter just to hindsight, just build it out with three pieces of wood right there. But oh well. You know, you live and you learn. So right now, I want to put a cabinet above the refrigerator here. And I'm fortunate in that the sides are not going to be exposed, nor is the back, nor is the top or the bottom. So really, all you're going to see is the face of the cabinet, which is, I had to buy a 30-inch wide, 24-inch tall to match my... Um, it's actually the exact same cabinet as this one right here above the microwave, but to match the 42 inch tall cabinets, uh, the height that I went with is 24 inches tall. And um, so what I'm looking to do is I really don't want to have a cabinet that is back there or one that's right here and only 12 inches deep. So I want to make it a 26 inch deep cabinet and some of these pieces of wood are easy to replace so this here the top and bottom of the cabinet that slide into the face there also uh, slide into the sides there and into the back here um, they're just basically sheets of plywood so these pieces I'm not going to use and they make a 12 inch cabinet so their length or depth is 11 and a quarter so it's three quarters of an inch less than you want the depth of the cabinet to be so let's verify that these are 12 inch deep cabinets and Seems right about on there, right? So three quarters of an inch less than what you want your depth of your cabinet to be. And I also want to make sure that I get the exact same thickness plywood. So I'm going to go get, this appears to be less than one half inch. It's, uh, what's that, it's a sixteenth less than a half inch in in depth there. So... That's, uh, what is that? One sixteenth less. So 15 sixteenths is the depth of the plywood that I'm going to be looking to get. And I want to make pieces that are the exact same width, which is 29 inches. So that's one inch less than the width of the cabinet with a depth of, I'm going to go with 25 and a quarter to make my 26 inch deep cabinet. So that'll give me the front, the back, the top, the bottom of this cabinet. And then I'm going to have the sides that need to be pulled together. I have two options of the ways I can do that. I can try to replicate this cut that slips into the face of the wood it doesn't look like it would be really all that hard. And then that would enable me to maybe put this back here. Now, that also doesn't look like it's all that hard. So I need to figure out the sides. They're going to be the most complicated part. But if I've got the top, the bottom, maybe what I'm going to have here, because... I'm going to have room on the sides because my space is actually wider than, let's see, how wide is this space? I'm going to have room to just put big chunks of plywood on the outside of the cabinet and kind of just screw it all together that way. And it's probably going to be fine. So you see, I have actually thir more than 31 inches there. So it seems like it'll probably be fine if I just assemble the cabinet with what I've got, glue it all together, 
put glue in here, glue in there, assemble just what I've got, and then just slap a big sheet of plywood on the outside of the cabinet, and it'll probably be fine. Sealing up the inside, it's probably gonna be the trick, but I also won't have the peg holes, so I'll have to figure out how to drill those peg holes in the back if I'm even going to allow the single shelf that this cabinet comes with to be able to be, you know, full depth back. So that's what I'm planning on doing and hopefully I'll be able to provide an update and it won't turn out to be a total mess.